Dude, I can't just be talking to myself in public. Can you shut up, Cortana? Jeez. Someone needs to explain uh, what this looks like to other humans. Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha and Kate Geek XX Chic, and we're back with another reaction to Halo. We're now to episode three, which is called Emergence. So in the last episode, we kind of wanted a bit of adventure with John and Quan. They ended up going to, um, I guess you could call it like a smuggler's paradise <laughs> in the middle of an asteroid belt where John actually met up with an old childhood friend who had actually gone AWOL from the uh, Spartan program. And basically he went there because he was hoping he could get some information on the artifact and try to figure out why this thing affects him the way that it does. But he also wanted to find some place to stash Quan because she's now wanted by the UNSC. And we all know that if she's caught, they will kill her. So basically while on that station, we got a little background on John, but we also found out through a man who looks entirely insane <laughs> that this, that the, uh, the covenant is actually looking for people, not only the artifact, but they're also looking for people who can activate the artifacts and that they've actually kidnapped humans in the past, hoping that they could find someone that could activate said artifacts. Apparently they already have one as well. So this is all news to John that he probably wouldn't have found out anywhere else. But in the end, when he realized that this artifact apparently is something that the Covenant wants to use to kind of decimate humanity or whole entire like races of people. It scared John and he decided he should go back to the UNSC or back to Reach and bring the artifact with him so that they can figure out either how to turn it off or destroy it. So I'm ready to get into this episode, but before I do, this is your first time to my channel. Welcome, thank you so much for coming. If you like this video, if you like my content, it would mean a lot to me if you would go ahead and just hit that like button. It just helps people to see my video, send some comments below, let me know what's going on, if I miss something, all those great things. I appreciate it very, very much. And if you really like it here, you can hit that subscribe button as well. That way you can be notified when I do more reactions to this show. I do lots of different types of shows here. So hopefully you'll join the fam. And if you've been here before, the same goes for you. Please like and subscribe and leave some comments below if it's really in your heart to do. All right, that out of the way, guys, let's get into episode three right about now. This looks gross. This is the intergalactic garbage. Waste, that's what I thought. So I'm assuming this is where the dregs are society. Oh, okay. It's like that. What's on Titan's name? I think it's like she's really pretty. That's a good that's a good guess. Are they not allowed to read? There are other planets with bright light in the sky and tall trees and green grass you can walk on. I don't know. <laughs> she's like, that sounds like Cap. So, when you read a word like that, someone's supposed to kiss you. Okay, Junior's got some, some game and he does, hasn't even hit puberty yet. What's going on? Oh, she know what kiss means, though. She don't know what untamed means, but she know how to kiss. Hey, <gasps> oh, no. get back to work. Right? Can barely take care of who's here and y'all are sitting here kissing, developing bad habits. <laughs> What's wrong with you? That's a child. Damn, you murdered a kid for reading a book? I'll teach you a Who are these a-holes? Why are they getting off on hurting children? Oh, they're aliens. No, maybe it's the girl that they, the girl with the white hair. No wonder she doesn't like humans that much. The creature that's what the scar is on her back <laughs> look at her she's like at this point i think that you're the most beautiful thing ever because you're not trying to stab me to death or electrocute me that's how bad the humans were that she thought this was a better alternative mm -mm. i hope they burnt Obama to the ground she's like yes we're buddies now okay so that's the book that she was reading in episode one it's got some emotional significance got it Okay, so I thought she'd never been around ki or humans, but she has. She's just been terrible. Oh, so she activates them too. Okay, I got it. Oh, you think so, don't you? Although I'm not gonna count her out. I have no idea if she's just a typical human or if they've done things to her. So you never know. Maybe she'll give, give old Sparty a little bit of a run for his money for all we know. 
Plus they have their own tech. So, but I have no doubt that they're not going to fight. There's clearly going to be some weird bond over this artifact, I feel. I want you to lead a team in analyzing this artifact. Determine what it is. Oh. What it does and if in fact... A little scientist perk up in her? Separate teams. Parallel teams. Mm. Separate. Dr. Halsey won't like that. Screw Halsey. Let's rely on Dr. Halsey. You're starting to use your brain now, sis. Yeah, because you can't trust Halsey's ass. Always bet on black. <laughs> I collected the samples. You are merely a product of the samples. Oh, look at that. Look who can't tell who's real and who's the original. No problem with that at all. If you found yourself sitting opposite a living, breathing version of you, would you actually be able to go through with it? What happened? My heart died. I don't need a babysitter. It's not a babysitter. It is. It's an upgrade. It's a spy. In your head. It will get you back on the front lines where you belong. Where you are so desperately needed. It's all you are, is just a body to take bullets. Somebody should have just stayed on that weird rock with your BFF. You'll find out soon enough, Johnny. Did you have to be so aggressive with that injection? You will be part of something bigger. Not him getting emotional, you weirdo. Oh, oh, I knew he was a simp, I knew it. It's the only way you could do sit by and let this atrocity happen. Are you about to get a needle in the eye? Looks like it. Eee, this is gonna be fun. Halsey's a freaking psychopath. Wait, she's sucking her brain out through this needle? Is that what I'm supposed to think is happening here? Yeah, Halsey's messed up. To be able to do something that looks like, do that to someone that looks like you, like literally is you? Someone saves John Spartan. Hope the artifact can save you. And she's such a dumbass. Like, shouldn't you be trying this on somebody else other than your, like your so-called prize pupil first? And just like that, melted like she never existed. You're evil to your core. My neural implant is operating perfectly, but I'm unable to take full operational control of the subject. My directive is to integrate fully with the Master Chief to optimize both his physical and his mental performance. And in time you will do- Are horrible. Don't worry. I'm gonna keep you very busy. This is so creepy and violating, honestly, but John did submit to it, so. I would personally die before anyone could put something in my head to live with, you know, basically have a program running inside of my head. Like, are you kidding? How's it going, Quan? Are we integrating with this new place well? Making any friends? You will get your revenge, Quan, I promise. One day. A gift from a cargo ship from Earth. Earth's still a thing. I have to join the resistance. A little girl like you? I'm not a little girl. Don't be dismissive. Just need a ride and protection until I find my people. And protection? Then give me a ship. Give you? What do you think this is, ma'am? Don't turn your back on me, asshole. Who are you talking to? Because you don't need to be here. You can go into space right now. Now run on home, and I'll see you at dinner. Yeah, let's not bite the hand that feeds you quite yet here, Quan. I understand you've got your own business, but that's not the way to get it, son. Like, it's not going to work that way. He could space you right now. Come on. Kutama. Look at him. What is it about this woman? Why does everyone simp for her? And she's so clearly evil. Speak to you soon. I guess. That's annoying. I don't like this. And yeah, you shouldn't, but she agreed. This is a great leap forward. For you? Big simpin' got you into trouble, sir. You're gonna find out how much soon enough. Are they gonna pick up the, uh... Fake human alien traitor girl. Engines, no sign of feet of atomics, minimal organic heat signatures. Blow it up! Blow it up. Bring us around 90 degrees. Yes, Prepare the fire. That's the right response, except you're gonna see her little human face and be like, oh no, rescue her! My family is dead. I only have my father's radio and it's dying. 
How many on board? So listen to this little actress. Where'd she learn to do all of that on an alien planet? Hey, Artifact, do us a favor and blow that thing out of his brain, please. I wonder, maybe it won't react to him now, though. Or maybe it won't react to him while Cortana's active. <laughs> ah, so he found it first. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so he touched it and it knocked him out? Putting him into stasis to access the artifact. Exactly. No AI here, girl. Human. Cortana, don't get the touch. You were designed to follow my orders. I'm not going to risk our ability to interact with it. That thing is about to go rogue in his brain. But you know what? He should have known better. I mean, I guess he doesn't have a lot of choice, right? They were probably just going to throw him in a brig otherwise, but still... I don't know. I'm a control freak. I don't like the idea of anything being in my head other than my head. <laughs> I'm nuts enough. I don't need somebody else in there. Uh-uh. She's like, don't hurt me. I'm just a girl. Go ahead. Thank you. Shake the hands of the people you want to destroy. I know this is supposed to make her look really badass, but it's, it's not it's not coming across. <laughs> you took that long to back out of the bay? Wow, those are some powerful earthworms. Where did the demon take my keystone? I don't know what you're talking about. You clearly don't know how the government works, huh? They don't tell everybody everything. Humans. Just as ugly as I remember. Honey, you're a human, but okay. Oh, well, that's different. Where do I get me one of them? Well, as Belle Bib DeVoe said, never trust a pretty girl and smile. Yeah, maybe you should have gotten him done like that before you killed him, but hey, you're new to this thing. We've been fighting together since we were kids, Chief. Whatever you do, we trust you. That's okay. As you were. Hello. Can I have your attention for a moment, please? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? To those of you who haven't heard of me, I'm Cortana. I'll be working. They're all like, the hell is this? It's temporary. It's not. They're all like, uh, we don't want this upgrade. If this is the future, we're just going to exit the program now. Where is that rubbish planet again with our old friend that went rogue? <laughs> it's starting to look real appealing right now. The creatures who destroyed my planet took everything from me. Everything but my spirit. Every day that I live in that spirit is a victory over them. Period. You can't just stay here and eat and drink and smoke and pretend nothing else exists outside that window. That's fair. The universe would be diminished without you in it. That's a great line. Yeah, they both have valid points. I mean, Quan should fight for what she believes in and that's what she was raised with, like a cause, but at the same time, her thinking she should just go back and go in headlong against what's basically an army of revolutionists that want her dead is not smart either. She definitely needs help. If I understand your objective, I can be helpful. I'm actually quite good at this. I would go insane with that in my, vo in my head. Like, no. But based on the keywords in your query, I find 103 human colonies or moons containing the specific flora and fauna you are seeking. Would you like to see the list? Yes. <laughs> he's like, okay, admittedly, you're helpful. <laughs> I get it, though. I mean, if she's in his head, he's going to have to figure out a way to work with her. Mr. Chief, what are you doing? Yeah, always watching. I want you to help him. Removing his pellet is a direct violation of Section 3, Regulations on Spartan Behavior. Shut up and do as you're told for once. This is not what I signed up for. You didn't sign up for shit. You're an AI. I hate Cortana. In this show and in Windows too. Now make a 1.3 centimeter vertical incision. Dude, you think I got that kind of accuracy from behind? Twist 45 degrees and use the knife edge to... Thanks. Got it. Man, they really jacked you up in this program, huh? Thought you'd be watching. She's like, we can take those out? <laughs> Follow suit. Come on. You're curious. I know you want to. Yeah, let's leave it out in the open so everyone can see that you did something you weren't supposed to do. You're not the brightest bulb in the chandelier, are you there, Johnny? Oh, this is all the stuff that your buddy was telling you about. 
Remember what it's like to experience things, to feel it, to smell it. You know where you'd like to go? Dude, I can't just be talking to myself in public. Can you shut up, Cortana? Jeez, someone needs to explain uh, what this looks like to other humans. I'm wondering how long those hormonal implants have been in there. How long since he felt anything? Ah, music. That is what I couldn't live without. Music brings out so many beautiful emotions. Can you imagine just hearing it and just not feeling a thing? No thanks, fam. Okay, those instruments look super cool. Hello, puppy! Excuse me, I'm going to confiscate your dog for military reasons. Yeah. Are you gonna access these memories on your own now? Or are you going straight back to the artifact? That's what I thought. You don't get permission whenever you want. Can you open this? Why do you need Can you open this? Right? Asking so many damn questions. Each time you do, it stresses your heart and nervous system. <laughs> she said, STFU, please. <laughs> but yeah, he needs to go through this, clearly. See how they go together. Interesting. The planet that I lived on had rings of ice around it. How many planets have rings on your list? Only three. Show me. That's cool, actually. I want ice rings around my planet. Just kidding, it'd probably kill us. Reach for Lies is an ambitious feat of human ingenuity. God, not the pitch. Just tell me what I need to know. God. As a self-sustaining ecosystem. Yep. The goal your to parents were hippies, basically. Plague carried in on an unauthorized transport ship. It spread quickly, killing off most of the population. Lies. Lies. Halsey. The planet was sealed off to contain the virus. You know what that means. They might still be alive, though. No body, no crime. Their memories. This My is memories. so hurtful because she took those memories. I'll come with you. God, I can't escape you like a bad rash. How are you this evil? I'm going to need Miranda to dismantle her mother. I'm going to free Madrigal and you can't stop me. I could kill you for trying to steal my favorite. Period. I, uh, I have money. You got nothing. Right? You I literally have nothing. <laughs> if not from you, then from the bounty on your head. You get me? Quan's not the smartest bulb in the chandelier either. But she was smart to go for the drugs since uh, him and his wife like that every day. She isn't bright. She didn't think that they'd be listening. Dr. Halsey's heading off on a mission away from Fleet Calm and away from the artifact. You need to stow away. Go stow away. Oh, and use your time wisely. I suppose that helps. <laughs> Poor dad, though. That's a really awkward position for him to be in. It's like, he knows that his daughter's right, but that's also like, I don't know if it's his wife or just his baby mama, but either way, it's an awkward place. I'm desperate. I understand, sis, but the thing is with war, you can't just ignore that it's happening sometimes because inevitably it will end up on your door. Returning to Aridness brings back all the memories. Like, Cortana. what you did to him. That is what Cortana is for. Exactly. To put him to sleep every time he does something that we don't like. Evil. And you know it was evil? Why? Because it looks like her. All right, guys. That was episode three of Halo. Very interesting. This was a very introspective e episode, actually. We didn't have a ton of action. Actually, no action at all, really. This is more about the storytelling behind what's going on here, getting a better understanding of what's happening with Master Chief. Again, figuring out more of what's happened in his past that's led him to this point. I thought at first, potentially, that Halsey knew about his contact with the artifact, but I'm thinking she didn't. I'm thinking that the scientists on that planet, his parents, figured something out, and maybe Halsey got wind of that, but before they could figure out, like, all the details, clearly they decided to wipe out everybody and everything that, had to, uh, that knew about it. There's definitely a lot of very, um... Very obvious holes in the story about what happened on that planet. You know, this plague that wiped everybody out and his parents were 
quarantined and the planet was taken care of. Like a lot of that just sounds like a lot of lies and a lot of cover-ups. But like I said, the fact that no one actually has like bodies or any kind of record of their death says to me there's a possibility that one or both of his parents might still be alive. We've seen a lot of the mother in particular. The father's still been in flashes, but I have... I don't know, my gut's telling me the mother might still be alive somehow. I feel like considering how obsessed Halsey is with this whole thing, she wouldn't have just killed off the two people who had any idea of what was going on or even saw what this artifact was about. So that's what makes me think that maybe one or both are still alive, but now I think obviously Halsey is figuring out that John was actually integral to this whole thing and maybe in a way she didn't, she didn't even anticipate until now. But again, the whole injection of the Cortana program into his head, a spy basically, despite the fact that she, you know, told Cortana that she's not a spy. That's exactly what she is for Halsey because Halsey can't track everything that John does all the time. But again, it just shows the level of manipulation that Halsey has. Like I, I know I'm coming down pretty hard on her right now, but I just, I have a real moral issue with people who play with people's minds like that and the fact that she's been doing this for so long in the name of science like I understand like you know progress in science happens all the time and people will do morally gray things all the time in order to achieve a certain goal or get answers but it doesn't make it right and in this case because John was a child and as I mentioned in the last episode there is a weird kind of maternal link between the two of them that makes it a little bit really it makes it a little, a little more gross in my opinion right because she knows that this guy has actual emotions towards her and an actual attachment and she's manipulating that to get what she wants and that's just kind of gross to me especially considering she's a mother herself but as we've seen there's literally no connection between her and Miranda that we've seen so far. It looks like they're very distant. And that seems like because Halsey's prioritized her science, her elevation, her, you know, whatever she thinks is the end goal of all of this is, that's what matters to her. And she really doesn't care about what's going on with her family. And so I'm not saying she doesn't care at all about Miranda. Obviously as a mother, I feel like there's gotta be some level of connection, but they're distant enough that even Miranda's like, I really don't think mom gives a damn about what happens to me because she's in that lab and she won't tell me nothing. So interesting dynamic there. And I think it'll be interesting to see the two of them interact. We haven't seen Miranda and, and Halsey interact yet. I think that'll be interesting, but I do feel like they're kind of building it up for Miranda to be the person who's going to end up stopping her mom because they seem like they're both highly intelligent, obviously, but Miranda seems to have a deeper moral compass than her mother does. And so I feel like, again, I think she's going to be the key to coming at this a little bit sideways and being able to anticipate Miranda, or sorry, Halsey, in ways that everybody else will not be able to do because, you know, obviously as we've seen, Halsey's very crafty and she's got several backup plans for her backup plans and she's entirely manipulative. So she needs somebody who knows her and understands her game a bit better like Miranda, but again, Miranda may not be up to her mom's game either because that's, that's some next level stuff. But Outside of that, we had John, of course, going through his emotions. Obviously, I understand why he agreed to have Cortana installed, but I disagree that he should have done it. I feel like he really should have fought that, but I guess he really didn't have a choice. I mean, as soon as he went back, he was basically surrendering himself and his body to this situation, but it sucks to have something stuck in his head, you know, unwanted, having its own mind and doing its own thing. That's really, really intrusive. But I think the, the bright side is the fact that Cortana is an AI and not just a program. Um, we've already seen that it's resisted orders from both both Halsey and from John. So I feel like as it continues to evolve, because I think it is still evolving and rewriting itself, it's going to, I think, eventually figure out a way to break free of Halsey's orders. And I think it really will become exactly what Halsey wanted or perceived it to be, which is a companion to John. Like, I think if it comes down to loyalties, is my point, it's going to choose John. Um, and I think, again, that's going to be absolutely protective for John in the end, because we know that Halsey will definitely sacrifice John if she has to. But with Cortana there, that's probably going to be the one thing that's going to stop that from happening. I mean, Cortana has a lot of knowledge. You know, it's a two, it's a double-edged sword, right? She knows things about John, but she also knows a lot more about what Halsey's thinking. And because it's based on Halsey's mind, she'll be able to anticipate Halsey better than anyone. So like I said, when they do become allies, which I feel like they're going to be, because I feel like Cortana is probably here to stay, that will turn out to be one of John's best assets. But I completely understand his annoyance with her this episode. It's a lot to have a whole other presence in your brain that you didn't really ask for. But interestingly, we saw that one other Spartan has been watching John since episode one, this, this that Spartan seems to be very tuned in to what John is doing and feeling. So I think that we're going to see her become one of his, you know, ride or dies in this situation. But potentially she might follow in his footsteps and try doing some of the same stuff. We'll have to see how she reacts, but she seems like she's a little bit different as well. And I don't know if she was like that before, you know, the, the EMP that went out through um, throughout the station by the artifact. But I do think she's definitely um, on the brink of going rogue. Outside of that, we just had a little bit of Quan. Quan is not dealing well with being on this planet. I understand it. She was raised by rebels. She's got a mission in her heart. 
Plus she's got a lot, you know, of rage and emotions she's still processing. And so sitting around and watching, you know, people she doesn't know basically eat and get high every day is not for her. Like she really feels like she needs to do something with all of this emotion she's got. Not to mention, like I said, she was raised as a person with a mission. So it's very difficult for her to just sit back and try to settle into a life of just, you know, hiding under the radar. So she wants to get back to magical because there are still people who are affiliated with her father. She wants to keep his hope alive. And I understand that she just needs a purpose at this point. And she finally figured out a way to convince um, what's his name? Soren to take her back to magical. Um, it's a little bit, I feel like it's still a bit half cocked and half baked, but Hey, at least it got him off the station. But I do feel like Soren's going to get involved in this, whether he likes it or not. He's trying to pretend he's okay with just getting high every day. But I think that he too is starting to realize that there's more going on out there. And I think seeing John again, and even seeing this fire in Quan is probably going to reignite something in him. That's probably been pretty dormant for a while now, but I do hope he's okay. Like the fact that that goodbye with his family looks very permanent. I'm a little worried about what might happen to that little asteroid belt while he's gone, but I'm hoping that, you know, nothing happens. I love little Kessler. He's adorable and I hate to see him go, but who knows with this show? I feel like it's, it's got the possibility to go quite dark since we lost kids in the first episode. So I'm hoping we don't go there again, but, um, yeah, we're seeing a few pieces start to come together. Quan sitting there heading back to magical. We now know that, um, the, the girl, we got a little of her backstory of how she ended up with the Co covenant. Now we know that she has a very uh, valid reason to be anti-human <laughs> based on her previous experiences, but she's also headed to magical as well because her, uh, attempt to commandeer the the, the ship didn't quite go the way that she planned. But like I said, I think there's a lot more going on there. I think she very much is craving human contact, but I, uh, you know, I think it's going to take John interacting with John and their mutual connection through these artifacts to finally kind of break out of that hatred she's got for humanity and for the two of them to figure out what exactly is going on with these artifacts, because these two artifacts clearly go together. She's been in contact with one. He's been in contact with the other. So I can't think that that's an accident. These two are definitely faded in some way. We're going to have to see how that all plays out as the show goes on. So another great episode. I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and we will see you in the next video.